All right, Crispy D, what's the deal? That's that word. Oh, um, shit, nothing was good with you. Appreciate you coming through. All right, you know, let me wait this real quick. So. Yeah, this is all right. All right. So just so uh, take me back to the beginning. Uh, where you from? And uh, how, what was your childhood like growing up? So I'm from Ipsy. Niggas don't know a lot about Ipsy for real. I'm from South Side of Ipsy. You gotta talk. Shit, I grew up. I ain't. Huh? We gotta talk a little louder. I'm not from the South Side of Ipsy. Feel me? Niggas don't really know about Ipsy like that for real. I'm trying to put that bitch on the map. Shit, I grew up. I ain't had. I ain't had no parents or nothing like that. I was adopted for real. That's the last shit niggas don't know about me. Okay, like, so were you in, like, a, a foster home, or did you get, like, adopted pretty early? No, I got adopted, like, damn near birth type shit. Okay. All right, so, uh, how, how, like, how was that growing up? I ain't never really met nobody uh, that was adopted, but was it? You know what I'm saying? Me and all my brothers, I got two, bro two half-brothers. We don't got the same dad. We got the same mom. My grandma, she adopted my mom type shit, and then my mom ain't really... You know, fuck with it like that, I guess. So she, she just threw us on our grandma. My grandma took custody type shit. So the party bitch, you took it serious when you got 18. Like, how how serious did it get? Like, was that your main income? That was definitely that. Shit, I was selling weed and shit, too. I ain't gonna lie. So between that and the party, that shit go hand in hand. And then it got to a point where I started working downtown in the city at clubs and shit. They seen I was getting, like, throwing my own shit and seeing people come out and these and reached out to me on the gram. Like, bro, you got to come work for me type shit. I then there break you off 40%. It's off of you just posting our shit for real. So I was fucking with that shit. I was down there downtown in the city every Friday, Saturday for, like, a year or two years straight. Then I stopped fucking with that shit. I, I wanted all my money for real. So I said, fuck that shit. Started doing it by myself. Out this way. Just renting out Airbnbs and halls and venues and just throwing shit every weekend. Okay. And uh, do you still get into throwing parties or is it? Because of COVID, I don't be throwing them for real like that. But if it wasn't for that, I'd still be throwing them bitches right now. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I didn't even think about COVID. How, how did the... Like, how was it during your business when you seen the COVID came to America? That shit fucked my whole party shit up. That shit made me focus on rap more, but um, it fucked my whole party shit up for real. I ain't gonna lie, it made me not even really want to do this shit no more. But I'm still gonna do it. Okay, so when you... Is is that, during the pandemic, is that the first time you went into the studio and made your first song? Or is it before that? I made my, I made my first song in 2019, for real. I made two songs, I got locked up, and then I ain't dropped for like seven months because I was locked up. Okay. And, uh, all right, so you, you went in for seven months and you came up, you you good now? Like, you ain't, you still I'm, on, I'm still on papers right now, but. Okay. Shit, you see, I don't give a fuck. But I'm about to be off, though. Okay, that's what's up. That's what I'm saying, I'm about to be off. <laughs> all right. So, um. Once the parties went down, what what changed in your mindset about rap? Man, it really just made me hit the studio more. Like, it made me feel like I got to pursue music way harder now because I ain't even doing nothing else. Like, it ain't nothing else for me to do. Okay. Give me your life, bro. 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 Life. And you, you, uh... A few of the songs you dropped in the pandemic did pretty well. You dropped uh, Coochie Down. That was during the pandemic, right? Mm hmm Okay, I know that that song has had, like, I think it might be around almost 40,000 on YouTube now. Yeah. How was, uh, were you, how, how were, my bad. How did you feel about the uh, reaction you got from that song? I really, like, that was the one song I made, and I just knew that bitch was going to get uh, feel me some type of exposure. Like, I just knew. I felt like that bitch was different, so I was happy about it. Damn, I get better. Yeah, that's, that's my biggest song for as far as, like, streams on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, all that other shit. 
That's my biggest song, period. One time, I'm like, oh, yeah, this bitch really. But I, I felt like I made a good song. You feel me? Like, I made a good song. I ain't really fuck with a lot of songs that I made. Niggas will tell you, I'll be like, I don't even like that shit. They'll be like, what you mean you don't like that shit? You feel me? I don't be liking that shit. I still put that shit out. See, so people fucking with it. I'd be surprised for it. That was the only song I made that I knew was good to me, type shit. All right, so do you feel like you know best when it comes to your own music? No. Like, I feel like I found my ear for the shit now. Yeah. At first I didn't, but I think I know best now. Okay, well, you feel like you you your own biggest critic with the shit? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'd be like, my shit ass, so I'd be my shit fire. Maybe it's one or the other. I don't really feel like I got no in between the songs. And uh, recently you just you just dropped a project. Was this your was this your first or your second project? I didn't drop. Really, I dropped a whole bunch of EPs for. I ain't. I don't feel like I have no serious projects out right now. Okay. A lot of believe it or not, a lot of music I made, I freestyled for. Like, okay. I only wrote. Shit, I don't know. I only wrote a few songs. Though. Okay, so the, that's what you usually do. You just go in and. Hear the beat, or do you already have a beat before you? I already had a beat for sure, and now I fuck around and try and write some shit and get to the studio, try to record the shit, and be like, I don't even like this shit for real, and I just start rapping in that bitch. Okay, so when when do you feel like you had the most success when you write or when you freestyle? It was looking like when I freestyle the shit, but I ain't gonna take it. I don't know, cause my best I wrote Coochie Down at least that's the one song I wrote, and it was like I, that bitch just gotta be it. So, I don't know. It's looking like I can write, but I can't tell. I can't tell you. Okay. So, do you feel like, w once you seen Coochie Down kind of taking off, did you know, like, did you feel like you had to come with something else? Yeah. Hell yeah. I was mad. I was in that bitch trying to not recreate the same song, but, like, I was trying to make that my style. For real. Like, I was really trying to turn that flow into my flow type shit, but... I give them that bitch and I just make a different song every time, no matter what I do. I don't feel like I got, I know I got my own flow, but I don't feel like I got no consistent flow. I feel like my shit switch up every time on accident though. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of artists, it take a while before they really find like they perfect sound for them. That's like. And I only, I only rapped for a year, for a year and a half. Tops, like, besides the little two songs I dropped before I got locked up, I still didn't rap for seven, seven months. So, like, shit. Okay. So, like, who who is some of your biggest musical inspirations? Just like growing up, who was you listening to? Shit, growing up, shit, growing up, when I was listening to like Drake, man, Chief Keef, definitely. Chief Keef was the only person I listened to when I actually like walked somewhere just so I could listen to his music type shit. Like, that's the only nigga that ever made me feel like, oh yeah, I'm Chief Keef is me there. I play this shit now and I get wherever I gotta go. So like two people and Drake for real. Them the two people that inspire me from music for real. Okay. Alright, so what what is your uh what's your plans? Where you see yourself going with this shit in the next I mean, year or two? I, I feel like I can blow for real. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I can really blow with this shit. But it's the only time I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna keep dropping it. Figure out my little formula for this shit. And after a minute, that shit should come out. But I know I'm gonna blow with this shit on the show. That's what's up. All right, so for anybody who didn't hear any of your music, what's the first song you would send them to? Shit, for sure, Coochie Down, y'all gotta go listen to that. That was a show. But other than that, shit, any of my shit, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I'll send them like my. You know, Apple Music give you top eight songs type shit. Yeah. I really send my top eight songs <laughs> on some other like shit. This must be what everybody like. You bitches been sitting there for a minute. They love them songs. Okay. So I just put them back. Yeah, I was uh, I was I was just with some niggas. They was talking about. They asked me who I was coming to interview. I was I told them you. They was like, yeah, I, uh. Ask him about the streams on Coochie Down, cause he, nigga talking about he got that shit in the playlist. He just be banging it all the time. All type shit for real. So yeah, so ni niggas hear your shit for sure. Like it's niggas listening for sure. 
if I'm feeling it, for sure. I, shit, they gotta, I need them to listen. Shit, I appreciate everybody that's listening to me. This shit ain't, that shit ain't come overnight. Shit, I'm still working on this shit. Hey, rolling by the I'm still trying to get where I gotta go. All right, so what's your what's your next what's your next goal? Not your biggest goal, but your next goal with this rap. Shit. My next goal. Well, I got a few type shit for you. Okay. My next few goals is what make a song that go for hundred k streams, expand my fan base to like multiple other states. I'm getting listened to mainly in Michigan for real. Like that's where everybody listens to me. I'm trying to expand for real. And, Shit. That's really my next step type shit. My biggest goal, you already know what that is, just to blow it. But my, I'm just trying to make some song, make a catchy song too, a song. I want to make a TikTok viral song too. I think that shit cold. I like when people do that. Yeah, yeah shit, I'll be saying that to a lot of niggas. If you can make a TikTok song, make a TikTok song. Because them bitches, it, even if that ain't how all your music going to be, that shit put some bread in your pocket to do what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I started. I tried, I don't even do all the little TikTok dance and all that extra shit. I done tried to make a couple just to build some followers on that bitch so I could drop my shit on there. I ended up not fucking with this shit though. I mean, I, I got like 200 followers in like four days off that shit and I just stopped. <laughs> yeah, I say shit. If you get some people dancing the coochie down, that should have definitely you could definitely take that shit up another thousands of streams for sure. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's one song I could probably get on there. I might I might pay for some promotion, get somebody that's big on there to make a challenge for me. I might for probably do that. I just thought about that the other day. Oh, yeah, that shit. That shit. That shit will work. Really, really, that shit will go as long as you push it, right? Like, if niggas don't respond, hit up some more. Like somebody will dance to that bitch. Yeah, somebody will dance to that somebody bitch. Somebody will dance to that bitch. I was dancing for a couple dollars. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. For sure. Oh. Yeah. All right, so I know you told me at the beginning that you were adopted, but what what is something that somebody who just listened to your music wouldn't necessarily know about you? Shit. Well, they wouldn't know that. It's a lot they wouldn't know about me. Shit. A lot of people don't know I'm from Ipsy. I be having to tell people all the time I'm from Ipsy. They wouldn't know. Shit. I don't know my dad. I never met him in my life. Shit, I never met my dad. Shit, that's something nobody know about me. I, never, I ain't really, like, I ain't have it like that growing up. A lot of people really think I do because they make it just, because the way I shit, carry myself, but I ain't never had shit. Let everybody know where they can uh find you on IG. <laughs> Instagram, Crispy D5. I'm from the five side, you feel me? Twitter, I don't really use that bitch. I'm gonna start using though, Crispy D underscore. Or I'm, it might be Crispy D5. Everything Crispy D5, for real. Crispy D, look it up. All right, bet. Anything you just wanna let niggas know before we get up out of here? Yeah, I'm about to drop. I'm dropping my first real project in the summer. I'm, drop, I'm dropping all videos off that project. You feel me? Like, I'm all fire type shit. That's really what I'm on for real. That's it for real. All right, bet. That's what's up. And I appreciate you for doing the interview. And uh, shit, I'm rooting for you. All right, bet.